All right, let's um, calculate the area of um, two sectors of two different circles. And the formula for the area of a, a sector of a circle is theta, uh, which is the um, central angle of the sector, times pi, uh, pi r squared, which is the area of the circle, over 360 degrees. Um, so I could let me just rewrite it. It's theta pi r squared over 360 degrees. And let me just kind of show you where that comes from. Um, so here's a sector of a circle and it's got an angle measurement of 120 degrees. Well, if I were to take the whole area of this circle, um, the area of the circle is pi r squared by definition. Um, and if I were to have a sector of a circle that's not 120 degrees but the full 360 degrees, um, its area would be just the area of the circle, pi r squared. So I can set up this proportion where um, if I've got part of an area of a circle, in other words if I have a sector, I could say 120 degrees, um, the, uh, the measurement of that, of that sector, the angle of that sector, out of the full 360 degrees is proportional to um, the area of that sector to the whole area of the circle, like that. And if instead of saying 120 degrees, I just call this theta, meaning uh, plug in any degrees, this is just a variable, theta, you know, whatever degrees, um, whatever out of the full 360 is equal to the area of that sector with that angle measurement out of the full area of the circle. So then I can just cross multiply to solve for this um, proportion. So I could have pi r squared times theta, or theta pi r squared um, is equal to the area times 360 degrees. And then just to solve for the area, I have to get area by itself, I divide by 360 degrees, divide by 360 degrees. And that's, that's our formula. That's where that comes from. Okay, so now that we know what that means, let's use that formula to figure out the area of these two different sectors um, I've got here. So uh, circle one, circle two. Okay, circle one. Let's use it. So the area of uh, circle of um, the sector one. Let's call, all right. Yeah, let's call that sector one, sector two. That would be better. Area of um, sector one would be theta in this case 120 degrees um, times pi pi is just special numbers 3.14 something 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 on on into infinity uh, pi r squared r here is seven units um, so seven units squared which is 40, uh, 49 divided by 360 degrees all right, let's just um, clean this up a little bit. So we've got um, 120 uh, divided by 360 is just one third. Uh, you can think of this as um, 12 divided by 36. 12 goes into 36 three times. So this can be reduced to one third. Um, uh, and then pi and then 7 squared is 49. So really this is 49 times pi divided by 3. So let's just jump on the calculator for that. Um, 49 times hit the pi button or th you can put in 3.14 if you don't have a pi button divided by 3. So we've got about 51 about 51 units squared is the area of this sector there. All right, let's try this little circle here. Um, the area of sector two, let me draw that down here, is um, theta, in this case, 240 degrees. Times pi r squared, pi. Um, my radius is three units. 
3 squared all over 360 degrees. So let's just clean that up. 240 divided by 360 is just 2 thirds. Um, you can think of it, take off the zeros. 24 into 36, you could divide both by 12. 24 divided by 12 is 2, 36 divided by 12 is 3. So we've reduced this um, down to 2 thirds. And then pi is just pi. And then 3 squared is 9. And then we could go a little bit further. 2 um, times pi times 9, you could rewrite as 18 times pi just, uh, uh, over 3. And we can actually reduce that fraction. Let's keep going. 18 over 3 is 6. 3 times 6 is 18. So we could take this all the way to 6 pi. Uh, and that's about as far as I can go without a calculator. 6 times pi is equal to 18.84. So let's say that's, that's roughly, uh, roughly 19 units squared is the area of that sector.